We are learning more about a former San Diego State football player who has been charged with one count of child pornography. This came to light because prosecutors were searching for evidence related to gang rape accusations against several SDSU football players. CBS 8's Chris Crow joining us live from the Hall of Justice now with these details. Good morning, Chris. And of course, we are talking about 20 year old Nolan Iwaliko, who was arrested yesterday and has since been bonded out of jail. He is facing that one felony charge there of possession of child pornography. Now, take a look at your screen. Uh, this is that picture of Nolan Iwaliko. Now, that charge was filed after investigators found pictures on an iCloud account showing a quote prepubescent child being sexually exploited. Now they were searching for evidence related to that gang rape accusations that were made against several SDSU football players and that included Iwaliko. Now we know this after several search warrants related to that case were unsealed. These newly unsealed search warrants show that a 17 year old girl went to authorities two days after she alleges she was raped while attending an off campus party at SDSU on the night of October 16th, 2021. 17 year old girl identified in the warrants as Doe told police originally that she believed she was sexually assaulted by a man named Danny claiming quote Danny walked Doe into a room where approximately four to eight males were inside. She says that she was sexually attacked by at least three males, which she believed was videotaped, adding that she was in and out of consciousness at that point and her memory was hazy. At a follow up interview more than a week later, Doe then told investigators she believed that who she originally thought was Danny was actually Matt, claiming that she did not remember if Matt participated in anything because she was facing away from him. That, of course, referring to former SDSU punter and Buffalo Bill punter Matt Ariza. Now, the search warrants also reveal the results of a sexual assault exam conducted on Doe, which included bruising, but the doctor found, find, uh, found in the report that it did not confirm nor refute the claims made by Doe. Now, DNA tests from the victim's SART exam and clothing indicated multiple men had sex with her, but the samples could not identify them because the results lacked sufficient information. Now, those court documents go on to reveal a lot more about, of course, those gang rape accusations, but you have to remember the district attorney having seen all of that chose not to file criminal charges against those who were alleged to have taken part in this alleged gang rape. However, there is still a civil suit that is ongoing. And then now, of course, this separate case, se separate case I should say, involving Nolan Iwaliko of ch possession of child pornography. Of course, we're going to follow the very latest developments in both cases, including potentially when Iwaliko will first be in court. Erica Netta.